Hello and good evening. I am Shurujit De and you are watching my YouTube channel Econometrix De. Today we are going to study chapter 15 Perimeter and Area of class 6 and we are going to solve today exercise 15.2. So without wasting further time let's start the class. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. Now, class 6 students, today we are going to solve question number 9 of exercise 15.2. And today's part is part 15. And today we are going to finish this exercise. Okay, 15.2. Understanding or no? So let us see what they have asked in the question find the number of square tiles ok so we have to find out how many tiles square tiles are required and of side 12 centimeter that means find the number of square tiles whose side is 12 centimeter so side each side of the square tile is given to us so we will write first if i want to solve answer each side of square tile square tile so it is how much 12 centimeter clear we this information is given to us uh, given to us okay now required for tiling a wall of dimension okay now these tiles we are going to put on a wall whose dimensions are told 7.2 meter into 3 meter that means length of wall is given to us 7.2 meter and breadth of wall this is also given to us 3 meter so length of wall breadth of wall so but if you see now here this one is centimeter here this one is meter meter that means the units are not same to do like this kind of sum we have to first make the units same if this is centimeter we can we have to convert this also and this also in centimeter okay or you can do the opposite also you can convert this square tile into meter also clear no but what we will do we will convert this meter into centimeter that will be much more easier okay so 7.2 7.2 into if i multiply with 100 then what it becomes it converts into centimeter so let us do it will be 720 centimeter and this one 3 3 into 100 so it will become 300 centimeter now you will be thinking sir how you did this one this is though we understood 3 into 100 300 but 7.2 into 100 you just simply multiply and you will get it okay 7.2 into 100 okay 0 0 cross again 0 0 double cross 1 2 the 1 7 the so 0 0 2 7 now you see after point one number is there or one digit so the point will be from here like this way okay 7 20 or another easy way another easy way is also there how now 7.20 okay or 7.2 is there okay now when you are multiplying with 100 100 has how many zeros two zeros so the point will move this side two numbers one number is here another number is not there you put it and the point comes here so it becomes what 720 okay this is a shortcut way of doing okay now what we will write therefore number of tiles required number of tiles required for tiling a wall so how many tiles are required so what we will do what is the formula let me write the formula okay but before writing the formula let me draw one diagram suppose uh, this is the wall okay then how you will put or uh, how you will put the tiles you are going to put the tiles in this way 
like this way one tile square tile another square tile another square tile like this way you are going to place the tiles. So, how many tiles are required? Now, from here you tell me that which area will be more? The area of the tile will be more, now the area of the wall will be more. So, I think the area of the wall only will be more because we are going to put the uh, we are going to put the square tiles okay, on top of the wall okay, or on the wall we are going to put not the wall will be put on the tiles. Okay. We are going to put the tiles on top of the wall clear no? that is why area of the wall is big okay, or greater. Okay. So, which is greater that one we will write first area of the wall divided by area of square tile okay area of the wall divided by area of the square tile now area of the wall formula length into breadth unit square and area of the square tile side square clear and unit square now here 720 into 300 centimeter square and this one 12 you can put here square centimeter square centimeter square centimeter square cuts. Now, what you get 720 into 300 divided by 12 into 12 because 12 to the power 2 means 12 into 12. Now, I will divide 12 ones are 12 12 twos are 24. So, how much left 6 left. So, 6 and 0 it becomes 60. So, 12 fives are clear got it. Now, here we can again divide 12 ones are 12. Now, 12 how much are 72 because it will not go with 7 then we will take 2 digits 72 12 6 are 72 again 1 0 will come. So, now 60 into 2 5 that is 25. So, if you multiply how much you will get? So, let us uh, multiply in this side. So, 25 and 60 0 0 cross 6 5 is a 30 3 6 2 is a 12 13 14 15. So, what you get 0 0 5 1. So, how many tiles are required? 1 5 double 0. Okay. So, when we multiply 60 into 25. So, we will write down that one okay. here equal to 1 5 double 0 tiles and this is the answer. Okay. Now, the second part also find the cost of tiling if one tile cost rupees 2.50. So, you have to now find out the cost of tiling let me rub this part okay, because we are going to do the second part okay, the cost of tiling. So, if I want to do cost of tiling okay, again cost of tiling again cost of tiling at the rate of rupees 2.50 per tile. That means, 1 1 tile cost rupees how much? 2 rupees 50 paisa. Okay. So, you have to find out the cost of how many tiles? 1500 tiles. So, what we will do? Same way like this sum we have done 2.50 per means divided by then tile into what you get 1500 tiles, 1500 tiles. Now, tiles, tiles cancels. So, what you get rupees 2.50 into 1500. So, what you get rupees. Okay. Now, here also we will use that trick. What trick? Now, two zeros I will write down okay, first. Now, here 2.50 into 15. We will multiply. So, let us multiply here 2.50 into 15 
5 zero are 0, 5 fives are 25, 2 carry, 5 2 are 10, 12, cross 0, 5, 2, 0, 5, 7, 3. So, what you get? 3, 7, 5, 0, clear or not? 3, 7, 5, 0. Let me uh, write more clearly, these zeros are touching each other, 0, 0, 0. Now, it is clear, okay. Now, it is not yet over. Here, you are multiplying 2.50. So, after 0.2 digits are there. So, here also we will put the point after two numbers, okay. From that side, we will come. So, what it comes? 3750.00. So, 0 0.00, no need of writing. 3750 and this is the answer clear. Now, students, if you like my channel, then please give a like, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe, okay. And also press the all notification bell, so that whenever I upload such videos, you will get the notifications first, okay. Now, let us move on to the next sum. Now, here comes the last question of exercise 15.2. Let us see what they have asked in this question. Varun has the option of selecting a rectangular plot of size 135 meter into 45 meter. That means, one rectangular plot is given to us whose dimensions are told. So, what is that one? 135 meter into meter or square plot of size 7500 centimeter clear no at the same price that means varun to varun we have given one option that either you can buy the rectangular plot of land or you can buy the square plot of land okay but the price for both the pl plot of lands are same only okay now, which one Varun will choose? Okay. So, which one should he prefer and why? Clear? So, let us start the answer. Answer. Okay. So, length of rectangular plot is how much? 135 meter. Clear? And breadth. Okay. Breadth of rectangular plot is how much? 45 meter. So, let us find out the area. Therefore, area of rectangular plot will be how much? Length into breadth unit square. So, length is how much? 135, breadth is how much? 45 and it will be meter square. Now, if we multiply, we will get the area. So, let us multiply 135 into 45. 5 fives are 25, 5 threes are 15, 17, 5 ones are 5, 6. Cross 4 fives are 22, 4 threes are 12, 13, 14, 1 carry, 4 ones are 4, 5. So, 5, 7, 10. So, we get 6075 meter square. We got the area of the rectangular plot of land. Now, the square plot of side 7500 centimeter. Okay. So, let us write each side of square plot, square plot and it is how much? 7500 centimeter. Now, you see nicely, this is given, this uh, rectangular plot was given in meter, but the square plot is given in centimeter and before uh, I have already uh, told you that we have to make the unit same, okay. So, let us make it, okay. Let us convert this one into what? Into meter. So, 7500 from centimeter, if we convert it into meter, then 1 meter means how much centimeter? 100 centimeter. So, we will divide by 100 and it will become meter. 
so 0 0 0 0 so what you get 75 meter clear now therefore area area of square plot so area of square plot will be how much not side square unit square so the area formula i have written of a square plot okay now 75 square meter square now if i multiply i will get it so let us multiply 75 into 75 5 5 the 25 2 5 7 the 35 37 now cross 7 5 the 35 3 carry 7 49 plus 3 52 so what do you get 5 7 plus 5 12 1 6 and this one 5 6 2 5 meter square now you can see nicely that the rectangular plot is 6075 and the square plot is 5625 okay so obviously varun will buy that plot of land which has more area so which one the rectangular plot of land okay so now if i want to write that one if i have to rub i have to rub this part now we will write because why you can see that this area is bigger or more than this area so what we will write therefore varun will prefer to buy rectangular plot because they are asking what now which one should he prefer and why so varun will prefer to buy rectangular plot why because its area is more than the square plot clear understanding or no how much more they have not asked okay that also you can find out clear no because this is 6075 this is 5625 if you subtract that much will be more but that they have not asked okay they have asked which one should he prefer and why so varun will prefer to buy rectangular plot because its area is more than the square plot okay clear and this will be the answer got it understood so those who have not watched the previous parts of this exercise okay 15.2 as well as i have taught 15.1 also you can watch it i have shared the link in the description box below as well as in the i button and also you can go and check the playlist so there i have made class 6 7 8 9 10 playlist is there and there also you can find and you can watch from there okay so this exercise exercise 15.2 is over now you have to practice the sums again and again so that you can smoothly do the sums in the exam okay so thank you for watching my video keep smiling bye bye